this is uh, this this solo reminds me of Mr. Crowley or Zio's board. Hi guys, what's up? This is Eddie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, I hope you guys are doing good and thank you so much guys for watching my videos. In case if you're here for the first time on my YouTube channel, let me quickly remind you that my name is Eri, I'm from India. I make reaction videos to support local artists from different parts of the globe, especially in the subcontinent region and also check out legendary artists and discover some timeless classics of all the different eras we have this song has been requested by one brother from bangladesh so thank you so much buddy for letting me know about this one and before i talk about this song i will i would like to tell you that like you know from last couple of weeks even though i did not make a reaction video on warfare songs i was actually exploring the length and breadth of um bangladeshi music i happened to find some of the you know um, articles written by some writers I, i'm I, again i'm not sure if they are true or not but post that you know the liberation of bangladesh in 1971 a lot of artists started coming up with their themes and this is where the actual evil evolution of rock and metal music started happening in that article names of some amazing legendary musicians from there so i have bookmarked that website to be honest you know probably i'm going to take some names from that article and going to check out those amazing bands from bangladesh from that 70s 80s 90s era like how so the bands before pre-war phase phase i'm talking about the bands before war phase and i mean that's a very important phase because even though i listen to a lot of metal bands and extreme metal bands and black metal bands I love to check out bands from the 70s, 80s era. I am taking out bands from Russia or let's say Japan or US for sure. A lot of European bands, a lot of Australian bands. And when we had some amazing bands from the 70s, 80s in this part of the world, why not? We should check out, right? We should definitely check them out. So we are going to check out the song called Dushor Manchitro, which also means faded map. And like I'm actually reading an article, um, so it's this is a different article altogether. So this article talks about the rock democracy of Bangladesh. So it says that you know, as Bangladesh's economy opened up to world in the late 90s, its textile exports leaving the country, while Hollywood films and luxury vehicles flowed in into the country, inequality also rose quickly it happens in this part of the world i understand particularly in rapidly growing cities where poverty persisted and new wealth accumulated that's always an unequal division distribution of wealth in this part of the world it's true so that's when the bangladeshi rockers came up projecting their criticism about what was what was happening so now in 1998 in 1998 track Dushar Manchitra or Faded Map, the metal band Warface sings of a hopeless time with dead bodies on the street every day and arrogant blue Mercedes rushing past, democracy winking at the injustice. Wow, this is really amazing, man. I mean, like, see, at the end of the day, um, music allows you to express yourself to be yourself just to promote yourself the way you are i mean it doesn't really matter i mean like probably it will probably it matters to a lot of people but me when i look at an artist i don't go by their background when i say background of course i will be really interested to know the influences a musician has like you know if they're inspired by pink floyd or led zeppelin or allman brothers or you know beatles blah blah etc etc 
but I'm not really interested about uh, let's say their religious practice or let's say their customs or the traditions they follow it's an individual choice if you follow something it's your choice it's your life at the end of the day I, I respect you I love you for because of the amazing music when I listen to songs like Boshe Achi, Na these songs are like man these are pure gold songs I mean like it doesn't really matter which part of the world you are from you know metal music you know heavy metal music you understand how a guitar works you know how a heavy metal song works you listen to it and you are like hell yeah right but this is really amazing man I, I know I spoke a lot but I really wanted to um, express my opinion about what I observed or what I learned by exploring you know Bangladeshi metal and Bangladeshi band scene from last couple of years I may be wrong I may be right there will be people who probably might not like my opinion but well this is what I think you can always share your opinion and thoughts if you want to guys so quite excited to check out this song actually you know um, so we will be checking this song out so without wasting much time let's give it up for Warface the legendary heavy metal band from Bangladesh. Look at this album cover, man. Pure gold, old stuff. So let's check it out, guys. You definitely feel a lot of Iron Maiden vibe here. Such a progressive vibe. Wow. Man, you listen to the bass. Wow.
this is uh, this this solo reminds me of Mr. Crowley, Ozzy Osbourne. is beautiful That was the article that was talking about the same lyrics. I got it, yeah. What an amazing song man I, I you know what I as I was listening to this song I was actually thinking of you know there are so many people still I would say I don't know probably there are a lot of people in Bangladesh maybe who doesn't listen to rock but there are definitely thousands and thousands of people in the other parts of the world who probably would have never heard of Warface honestly and I really feel pity for them people who loves heavy metal but they have have not heard of this amazing band right i mean like damn what an heavy metal stuff man from bangladesh i mean like wow they are truly unbelievable seriously and the reason why i say this is because they started this when things were not really up to the mark there are some bands which i have a deepest respect there is one band from uh, mizoram india komora one of the first technical metal band you know which was which was out back in the mid 90s when they invested their money to make an official video for their song which was really really difficult that the video quality is really poor because it's become poor now you know i also discovered a manipuri band called um stamp yeah dark stamp or something they were the first heavy metal band from Manipur back in 1987. So I was like, wow, you never really hear of these bands anymore, right? Similarly, when I heard of Azam Khan from Bangladesh, I was like, wow, he brought that rock and roll vibe in the Bangladeshi musical culture. Now, when you listen to Warface, they are definitely one of the pioneers. Like They got inspired by the 70s, 80s Bangladeshi artists and they took it to the next level. Now, if you want to be a musician, a heavy metal musician in Bangladesh, as a Bangladeshi musician, you either be like Warface or cross their level. But the epitome of pure heavy metal music, Warface has laid the foundation. That's what I believe in. Like They have lived in that era like from more than you know 80s 90s 2000s 2010s now 2020s you know this so many years of 
war phase that has existed in Bangladesh. Their importance is like more than anything. It's really interesting man, I'll tell you. I, I definitely make reaction videos but I don't want to rush and make videos just for the sake of it. I want to study, learn and probably make videos like this because that makes me more happy and satisfied and accomplished rather than just simply make videos. So whenever I get them for a band like Warface, you know, I really don't want to simply make videos. I really want to study, know something from them, get some inputs, probably speak and then make videos. That's when I feel that, okay, I understood something about the song, at least the interpretation and the meaning. And talking about the song, the vibe, you, know, you can feel so much of Iron Maiden-ish vibe, um, Black Sabbath and Ozzy Osbourne vibe in this song. But amazing song, man. I we really like those transitions. That this has a lot of progressive transition in these songs. You know, the time signature changes and the bass slap somewhere in between was really cool. But what an amazing song, man. A really amazing song. And more importantly, the interpretation and the meaning of the song is so good. But I hope you guys really had a good time. Do let me know in the comment section what do you think about this. Keep supporting this artist, man. I mean, like, that's the only request I always have in my videos. Watch those artists, small artists, support them. Keep promoting their work. The least we can do, man. I mean, like, if we don't support their work, no one else will. So you need to do that. So I will be back soon, guys, with another reaction video. Until then, guys, take care, stay safe. Namaste. Stay metal. Rock on.